Hi, welcome to Aidens Railways. Today, let's look at a train set. Hi there everyone, welcome back to Aidens Railways. This was an unplanned video. It's another train set, but this time with a difference. On Thursday, just gone, social media became alive when Asda had reduced a 60, 65 pound train set to 25 pounds. So if you're just starting in the hobby or you know someone you want to buy a, a train set for, younger or older, th this is an absolute steal at 25 pounds. I'm going to put a link in the description if they're still available. Get yourself on. That's exactly what I did. I didn't, I didn't take a chance that my local Asda would have one in stock. I know they were stocking them in some of the Asda stores, but I wasn't going to try searching all over the area to try and find one that had one in. I went straight online, found it, it found out it was true, it was definitely £25, ordered it, click and collected it. So what I'm going to quickly do, you can see the packaging, it's great, it's very simple, it's just a nice 040 saddle tank locomotive with a uh, four wheel wag uh, open wagon and a box van. But you're going to get a track mat an oval of track, the new style Hornby controller, which I think is much better than the older style one. This one actually has a switch on the back for a high and low output. So it does mean that you can put it on the low output, you can crank that controller right up. That train's not going to come off the track. It's not going to go too fast. Um, if you want to see more about that controller, have a look in one of my previous videos. I believe it was the Coca-Cola train set. I'll put a link up in the top up here. Um, much better controller than the old one, but it's got everything in there that you could need to start in model railways or for a younger person, an older person, just a bit of fun. You might just want one for a bit of fun. It's gonna be inexpensive. If you decide the hobby's not for you, you haven't spent a fortune. So what we'll do is we'll get straight on to opening the box and uh, see, show you close up exactly what you get. Right, so there we go. This is it as it comes out of the box. Underneath, we've got a packet, track mat instruction leaflet pack. Let's quickly open it up and have a look. So if you're new to this, don't worry. It's got everything you need inside. Extra, It'll show you all the geometry for extra track and things like that, all the track packs that you can possibly get. Accessories, all that sort of stuff. So if you are new, it's, this is brilliant. It's going to give you loads of inspiration. It's going to give you loads of information. A quick instruction, operating and maintenance in, uh, instructions. So this is all analog. It's not DCC or anything like that. Running in, it's going to tell you all about that. Routine maintenance, all that sort of thing. Lubrication, where to lubricate it, all that sort of thing. Removing the body. They're all very, very, they're all very similar, the 040 ones. You can just see the shape of this one on there. But it, it, it'll give you about all the spare parts, television suppression, much better. Now this is something I didn't get inside the uh, Coca-Cola train set. This is the actual controller manual. Um, first time I've seen it in various languages as well. But as I was saying before, I'll quickly show you on the controller anyway. It'll show you how to get it into, uh, connected to the track. The various parts of the controller but there's that high low switch all right personally switch it onto the low it's very smooth you're not going to risk if you've got uh, young hands controlling it you're not going to risk it flying off the track at high speed absolutely brilliant and um, if you do put quite if you've got a bit of rolling stock already or you get some more and you find it isn't quite coping put it onto the high you'll have no problem. I did that with the Coca-Cola set. I put more rolling stock behind it, found that when it was on low, it couldn't quite cope with it. But as soon as you switched it on to high, it gave it that bit, of, bit more oomph. So unlike the other one, instruction manual for the uh, controller warranty card. 
if you feel the urge. <laughs> I would always recommend you do send these things off. I don't, but then I tend to do all my own repairs and servicing. So if you're new to this, get that filled in, get it sent off. It's always a good thing to do. Collector's Club leaflet. We've actually got one of these. Um, I might do a little review on that at some point soon. But uh, Collector's Club, for what you pay, £28, you're going to get your VIP card, your badge, and you're going to get a loco that realistically is worth more than the £28 anyway. So you can't lose. Get that sent off. Quick owner's manual. It's got all the stuff in, all the various bits and pieces, building a baseboard and all that sort of thing, but we're not going to go all through that. They're generic. You get them in every set. We've seen it in some of the other videos that I've done. So we'll put that to one side. And then the all-elusive track mat. Normally, I wouldn't put one of them down, but for this video, to show you exactly what you get for £25, I'm going to put it onto the floor, we're going to set it all up, and we're going to show you it running for exactly what you get. So it might be a late, last-minute Christmas idea. If you can get one at £25 and they're still available, I would do it. I just did. So, third radius curves. So it's a nice big oval. Two straights, one of which is the power input straight. Transformer for your controller. The all important controller. I'm just gonna tear this open a second on the back so that if you're not too sure, this is an accessory one so you can add lighting and things like that, point motors, signal stuff. That's the input for your power from your power supply. And there's that high-low switch, and it currently, yeah, it was already on low. That's what we're going to keep it on, and then you can see exactly what it's like when it's running on that low power. In the bottom, I'm not new to model railways, as most of you know who watch these videos, but that's a re-railer. You lie that under the straight piece of track on the top there, and you can just roll your rolling stock and your locomotive straight into the track. There's no fiddling around. Brilliant for those that are new in the Hobby. We've got a good few of these now. Probably recommend them. Glad Hornby have gone back to putting them into the sets. Valuable piece of kit. So let's have a look at the first bit. Oh, hold on. Detail pack. I don't know if you can be able to see this very well, but there's some vacuum pipes that you can stick on. Normally I don't fit them on myself until I've painted them up a bit, but I didn't even notice they were there. Next up. There we go. The HR from the what the box says is meant to stand for Highland Railway. So we've got a very basic box van here and Hornby, well done, well done. We've got metal wheels in here. So you'll put metal wheels on this, but you won't do it on some of the other sets. Brilliant though, I don't have to change them now. Plastic wheels, people, if you get any with plastic wheels, get them changed to metal ones. You can pick them up off the Hornby website, internet, local model shops. Um, I thoroughly recommend doing that. If you've recently, if you watch Sam's Trains or anything like that, you'll see he did a, a run for Hornby with the Santa Express train set. If you look on the Hornby website, you'll be able to find it. Um, the train ran for 48 hours flat. The track was filthy afterwards. Now, track does get dirty, but it was thick black dirt on it. And to me, that came from the they came from those plastic wheels. That's my opinion. Others might not agree, but I think that came from the plastic wheels. So it's a, it's, it's a fairly detailed van. On there, you can see it all. We've got quite a good bit of print on here. Uh, let's see what it says. There you go. Load 10 tonnes with a running number. Um, oh, even better. Removable couplings. Brilliant. Oh, and I just popped it off. I'll pop that back on. <laughs> so you can see this is live. I haven't opened this set prior to doing this video. So I'll pop that back on in my excitement. So... There we go. Excellent. Box van, buffers, everything. Nice bit of rolling stock to start off with. Just put that back in there. Next bit. Here's your four-wheeled 
open wagon and let's get that to focus in so there you go a load of 12 tons bachelors cooperative company limited nice big van uh, wagon i should say you can put plenty inside there these are fixed couplings which is probably just as well in case i try taking them off and lo and behold metal wheels again brilliant so for 25 pound this is already starting to pay dividends as far as i'm concerned because the track alone is going to knock you back quite a bit the controller is going to knock you back far more than 25 pounds and as this next bit shows you this locomotive is definitely going to cost you more than 25 pounds if you come to buy it so there we go we've got a nice 040 pug highland railway and let's see if we can focus in on that there you go look at that print highland railway 431 absolutely brilliant nice little whistle here safety valves there we are let's get as close up at the front there now this is a bud it would be a budget train set anyway but for 25 pounds you cannot argue at that price um lovely bit of carb detail in there if you wanted to pick it out with some paints you could um i'm going to do a video about doing something like that before long because i've got a lot of little locomotives i wouldn't mind doing that too so you've got all your big buffers they've even got it looks like lamps here so we can get them painted up but that 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 print is absolutely brilliant now this is this feels heavy i've got a few of these and this feels a lot heavier and i'm feeling it here and this chassis along here isn't plastic anymore there are some of the ones i've got up in the, the the boxes are plastic this has got a bit of weight this is cast this is metal that's brilliant the motors on these things just run and last forever um they are absolutely been on you can see there you go if anyone's wondering just up here there's where your coal situated at either side and these bunkers next to the cab so there we go lovely little lo that loco on its own worth much more than 25 pounds so it's an instant steal for the whole thing so i'm going to put that back in there i'm going to quickly cut off you can watch me quickly put this uh, track map down put the track on connect the controller put the loco on and the rolling stock and then we'll have a look at it going round for the minute definite bargain 25 pounds you cannot go wrong for that kind of money so let's cut off i'll be back in a second So there we go tracks down now as i was saying earlier on in the in, in the video the re-railer it's really just this simple place it on the straightest bit of track as you can see this is very much back together and it's straight onto the track like that absolutely no effort involved how simple was that no fiddling around and it's straight onto the track logo straight onto the track there we go best thing that hornby have started putting back into their sets absolutely brilliant so there's the loco onto the track let's just give it a little bit of power and it's away So you have to forgive it, forgive this being a little juddery, but I'm lying down here on the ground. There you go, you can see the loco going past. Now, if you're wondering what I was saying before about having the controller on low power. Let's see if we can get it to focus in on the loco here. If you were ever wondering about this low how low high power thing in relation to the uh, controller in the past if you put a loco a small loco like this onto a train set and you had young hands handling the controller this thing would fly around it would just usually fly straight off the track and off it would go well 
This controller is on low power, and I'll just quickly prove that to you, let the logo get past. We look on the back, and you can see the switch. There we go, it's on low. And I have the power control all the way to max. So that's on full power on low mode. That thing isn't gonna come off the track. If I just slow that down, switch it off, and switch that switch onto high, There we go, on the high. And I'll put that on the full power. You'll see a noticeable difference in the speed of this train. Uh, somewhat very unrealistic. And if you've got this on a table, it could potentially go flying. So I'll just slow that back down again. Put it on the low mode. And there we go. So, long story short, a 65 to 70 pound, or say 60 to 70 pound train set reduced to 25 pound on the build up to Christmas. You get the track, you get the track map, you get the new Hornby controller, the much better Hornby controller compared to the old cheap one. You're getting a loco that's worth between 25 and say 38 pounds. It's the exact same loco as the Smoky Joe, so it just hasn't got Smoky Joe and it's not black. You're getting two pieces of rolling stock. You can't argue with that. £25. This was an unplanned video, but I had to do it. So, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll put a link in the description. If they're still available, get one. If you need one, if it's a last minute Christmas present, it's ideal. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget, if you like this video, if you like the content, give it a thumbs up, give it a like. Leave a comment. I love reading the comments. I always reply if I can. Um, if you want any more information, let me know. Tell me if you bought one, if you've tried to get one. Um, and all importantly, if you want to get more videos, more content like this, subscribe. Press that bell icon. As soon as I upload a new video, you will get notified that there's a video on. So, thanks for watching, and uh, hope to see you again soon. Bye.